Um, next, I want to take a, a quick look at the state of Dryad. I'll give you all a refresher on Dryad's mission if you uh, are uh, new to our community or if it's been a while since you've been involved. I'll also provide some updates about our accomplishments this year and take a look at some of the data about our data. We'll have full details in our annual report, uh, which we will release this winter. For those who are new to our community or who need a refresher on the important work we do, Dryad is an open data publishing platform and community committed to the open availability and routine reuse of all research data. We serve all research domains and have been a leader in open research data publishing since 2008. We have published over 50,000 data sets representing the work of over 200,000 researchers worldwide. All of our data is fully curated by our exceptional team of curators, preserved indefinitely, published under a CC0 waiver to remove all restrictions on reuse, and accessible at datadryad.org and via our open API. Dryad's membership includes 85 members as of, as of today in eight countries. The majority of our members are based in the United States. Um, although we are expanding, one of our strategic priorities is to expand our membership globally, uh, and about 70% of our members are institutions, with Maria on board, um, bolstering our, our efforts in recruitment uh, in the publishing community, we, we expect that to increase as well, um, the representation of, of publishers among our membership. Since January 2023, we've welcomed 14 new members to the Dryad community. They're listed here and represent scholarly societies and academic institutions of all profiles. We are particularly proud to have welcomed the State University of New York system as our second consortial member. Dryad is now available at over 20 SUNY campuses thanks to this partnership. We're also delighted that our member uh, AAAS elected to extend their sponsorship to include the science partner journals. As many of you already know, we've been working this year to better understand our costs, um, the costs of providing Dryad service and technology. And we've been talking to our members and held an open co community consultation on proposed changes to our membership model. We're working with the board finance committee to refine this model for the new year. And we thank all of you, all of our members in particular, for their patience as we work towards a mutually beneficial financial model that keeps Dryad resilient and competitive as a solution. Dryad datasets are connected to articles in over 1,200 academic journals. These 10 have the greatest cumulative number of datasets published with Dryad. I think you can see the, the clear link here with our founding communities in ecology and evolutionary biology, uh, as well as, uh, uh, but we have uh, other disciplines represented here as well, um, uh, as well as, as across the Dryad corpus. And Dryad has published data sets from researchers at over 70,000 institutions worldwide since 2008. These are the institutional members who have sent us the greatest volume of data so far this year. As you can see here, the UC system campuses remain some of the heaviest Dryad users. And these agencies have funded the greatest number of data sets on the Dryad platform. I think you can see here the breadth, uh, the global breadth of, of Dryad um, with uh, funding agencies in the US uh, quite prevalent, but also agencies in China, Canada, uh, Japan, and Europe, um, uh, and, and Australia as well. Our outstanding curation team is providing more efficient service than ever. Our queue, that is the number of data sets waiting to be curated at any given time, has regularly been under 150 since this time last year, a significant drop from over 400 uh, in the queue in April 2022. The wave of open data prompted by proliferating data sharing policies has not yet hit as far as we are seeing. We're seeing new submissions, that's the yellow and purple lines on this chart hold steady so far, 
but we expect them to grow significantly as these new mandates uh, uh, go into effect and the data that's produced from the funded projects uh, starts to, to be shared. And finally, file sizes are steadily growing from an average size of slightly under one gigabyte in January 2020 to 6.4 gigabytes in September 2023. Data packages that approach or exceed Dryad's 300 gigabyte limit are still relatively rare. Um, nevertheless, we hear a lot of about uh, uh, capacity for large data sets being an, an issue of concern within our community. So we'll be hosting a series of conversations with our community members in the coming months to collectively develop an approach to accommodating terabyte size data in the future. And I just want to include, uh, conclude by, uh, by reminding our community of some of the key contacts. Dryad is, is uh, a, a friendly organization with a great team who are ready to answer questions, ready to help, ready to, to um, brainstorm new projects together. Um, so I wanted to just uh, to reshare our key contacts for publishing services, community engagement and campus involvement and training, partnerships, and, and of course our executive director.